pre flat slab with that or a pre-stressed flat slab. So we have a 12 meter by 12 meter panel with three bays in the X direction and three bays in the Y direction. So we've defined our material. So this is a grid of concrete, grid of steel and grid of tendon. So you can see these properties. Okay, so a grid of about 460, we've done that. Then the next thing I want to do is define your section property. So you can see your frame section. We have our column of 500 by 500. Then our slab is, okay, go to slab section and this is the slab. So modify our slab is 300 mm thick. Okay, so we've done that. Now, the next thing we need to do is assign load. Come here, right click on the slab. Okay, right click on the slab. Then look at the load. Dead, three kilonewton and live, five kilonewton. Okay, so we, don't, we are done with that. Now, what I need to do to run my slab analysis is I need to use strip. So to automatically assign strip, I will just come here. So come to edit, edit and design strip, add strip using grid. So I, first one I want to do now is in the X direction and strip layer A. So click apply. Okay. So you can see the strip in layer A. But now in this side, I forgot to click mid, add middle design strip. So I'll select it and to add the middle design strip. Okay. So let's do it in the other direction Y and this will be B. So also apply, click OK. So we can see this. Now let's check the width of our beam to so control W and come to other assignments and look at show width. So this is design strip object and click OK. So you can see it's not really width, it's going beyond the perimeter of the slab, which is not what we want. So all I need to do is select object type and select the strips, strip layer A and B, select them, close it, come to edit and choose this okay so edit strip width so select it and choose auto click okay so you can see now everything is within the perimeter of the slab so we have this okay so the next thing i need to do now is run my analysis so we'll give it a little while for the analysis to run okay so it might take a while So for the flat slab, we have the column strip, the middle strip, the column strip, the middle strip, and also in this direction, we have the column strip, the middle strip, the column strip, okay? So the column strip is more like the support, whilst the middle strip is like the mid-span where the uh, main slab will be, okay? So let's run and see what our reinforcements will give us. In this video, I won't be really interested in punching or deflection. All I'm interested in is just comparing the results for both post tension and normal reinforced concrete so we can see we have a 12 meter span okay so we are done with that let's give it a little while for it to do okay so it's refreshing the window okay so you can see because we messed our slab so let's come here okay so verify revise so i'm choosing the UK National Annex, or select UK National Annex. So minimum cover for slab, you can set this. I want to set my minimum cover as 20. I want to set this as um, 20 or so. Okay, preferred bar size, I want to use 12 mm. So inner one, I want to use layer B as my inner. Then for post tension, so because I've not assigned any tendon, so it's grayed out, so you can see all this. Okay, so pre-stress check, I'll leave all this because we've not done this, okay. So you can change the design code if you wish, but I will leave it as United Kingdom, click OK. So the next thing I need to do now is you can highlight the slab because we have only one story, which is story one. We have only one story just to check the slab. So you can check here and select story for design, story one, select it and come back to this place and choose start design okay so let's run the design so it's running the design for us 
okay so you can see it has given us the reinforcement in this direction but let's make it easier let's go to display flexural design okay so let's bring out you can see the a let's come back let's choose the number let's say for top i want to use 16 mm bar then for the bottom i want to use 12 mm okay so apply now we can see at this top here we need 60 pieces of 16 at this point that's this hugging side for the top let me scroll out a little bit we need 85 pieces of it at this point we need 27 but there's some this is what the um, software is designing but there's what we call impose minimum reinforcing so let me just select this so to bring out the two of them together you can see it here okay let me bring it you can see that it has done in two directions and i will select this impose minimum reinforcing so apply okay so you can see this it has imposed minimum reinforcement needed for our flat slab okay so i want us to note something here at this point the reinforcements we need at this point we need 193 uh, 16 pieces and at this point we need 202 16 pieces okay so the way you will know that is to get the width of this slab so for example in this case now we have 202 so let me unlock it and let me show us the width okay so i can see this select this width select it So you can see it is wide by to the left three meters to the right three meters. Okay. So what we we'll do is three meters plus three meters, which is six meters. So six two 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 divided by six meters. That's six thousand millimeters. Okay. So you need to know the spacing at that point. So that's how we get the spacing of the because. If you have six meters from here to here, you need to place 202 bars at the top, and let's see if it's going to work. So from that will be 202 pieces. Okay, so we got that already. Now, what we want to do now to make this case easy is to apply post tension, and let's see if we we'll get the same rebar or to reduce the uh, number of rebars required okay so all i need to do is just select this select the column strips okay select them so we go to edit and come to edit and add tendon so select this and add tendon using selected strip okay so the first one i want is a banded strip so i will leave this band width at this now leave this leave this leave this leave this and click okay so you can see some of our tendons are being drawn you can see the tendons you can see everything about the tendon okay we've done that now the next thing i need to do is to come to the other direction i'll select this so i can close this to so select this so the column strips this and this okay so i'll go to edit again and go to add tendon okay so i'll change it to distributed and change it to reverse parabola so i'll just click ok so we can see what we have in this point so you can see what we have here so the next thing we need to do is so you can select this now if you select this and you hold control and right click it brings out this so let's select turn down and click ok so it brings us to this place and we can see so you can see the number of strand it has given us this is for the unbonded that's given us the number of strands here then you can also see it here for this other one so select it and just hold control because there's both floor tendon and rebar so i can just select the tendon and maybe this tendon and click ok so you can see the number of strand it has given us the number of strand needed okay so select it now just run the analysis run analysis and let's wait so we can compare the results So 
let's just give it a little while to run. I'm also using the same blue dim patterns. You see, three for dead and five for a variable load on the slab. So I'm, I just want to compare the results of it. Okay, so it's almost done. You can look at the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so we have this already. Now let's go to our override to work on it. Okay, so now you can choose minimum, set all these. You can set all this you want, but I will leave it as the default according to the code. So I'll just come here and run the design. It is, I'll run the design and let's see. Okay, so let's see the difference in results. So let me come here and make sure the minimum inputs is okay. Selected and click OK. So let's start with this. Now we can see at the top here, we need about 153 and this one is 150. Here we need about 60 and this we need about 129. Okay. So you can see once we post tension it, it reduces the number of reinforcement from 202 to about 150. So you can see the effect of post tensioning. So thank you for watching today's video. If you have any question, you can always drop it in the comment section. Thank you very much.